today i have been asked to uh, talk about the role of kudumbashri the largest women's network in asia and which is a proud product of the state of kerala and um, it's a landmark in the development process of kerala so from the very beginning itself i have been interacting with the kudumbasri network so i am i am a i'm like a, an insider outsider position or uh, i am with kudumbasri for a long time not in a not in any official capacity but as a resource person and sometimes as a part of the evaluations and sometimes as part of the organizations train as a trainer resource person part of their committees etc i am talking about the role of kudumbashri uh, in in the larger development process of kerala and uh, the i have planned it like that i will um, talk about generally about the evolution of kudumbashri and this, and its uh, structure and what they are working on the what are their major activities and then uh, two examples of uh, their work um, to explain more how they work with communities uh, one is about the um, covid resilience initiatives by kudumbasri and other one is their um, initiatives in farming activities that um, joint farming activities of kudumbasri initiated at the local level that will be the two examples i will highlight uh, after giving a giving a, an overview of the kudumbasri network and kudumbasri is the largest women's self help group network in the country so the the evolution of uh, micro credit and the uh, self help group network is known to us uh, very well because it is uh, spread out in all the states and all um, villages in our country and um, currently this program this kudumbasri network uh, the basic unit of the kudumbasri networks are called the uh, neighborhood groups which consist of 2 to uh, 20 to 25 women in the neighborhood and currently they have a membership of 45 more than 45 lakhs uh, all together and uh, that means the 50% of the households in kerala has been covered under kudumbasri and um, they have they are working on three major in three major there are three major focus areas are areas are like one is micro credit and other one is promoting entrepreneurship basically uh, which is promoting the local economic growth and other one is women's empowerment these are the three pillars or the three major um, focus areas of kudumbasri and also this um, network of neighborhood groups has been coordinated at at the panchayat level at the gram panchayat level or at the local self government level in uh, villages it is at gram panchayat level and uh, in urban bodies it is at municipality or corporation level um, and it is a registered society called community development society called cds that is the basic structure of kudumbasri they have uh, the kudumbasri has um, also organized certain special neighborhood groups one is for the scheduled tribe in the scheduled tribe mm-hmm. areas that these uh, groups are only for scheduled tribe people women from the scheduled uh, tribe communities and uh, there is a special neighborhood groups at the lsg level for persons with disabilities either persons with disabilities or their mothers are being part of this special energies and in some areas there are uh, single women widows they, they have a special uh, neighborhood group and they, um, they have already started uh, neighborhood groups for transgender people that that are also in the um, lsgi level not for uh, every um, lsgi but there are some lsgis they have taken initiative to form this neighborhood groups of tgs under kudumbasri and the major activities are like mainly like any other uh, self help group network in india they do this thrift and credit programs 
and micro enterprises and they are uh, they have joint liability groups in farming under the uh, national program of M mksp yojana and also um, the management of uh, employment guarantee scheme that mnrgs activities are being coordinated by kudumbasri that's another uh, speciality of kudumbasri from other states it is completely um, managed at in the local level it is managed by the kudumbasri network and um, asriya that's a um, that is part of the hunger free uh, destitute free kerala and it is implemented through uh, kudumbasri network uh, through this program they are supporting the people who are destitute in in the uh, local level and they give they they distribute food and other services to the destitute families and uh, palliative care programs the kudumbasri is supporting as a voluntary work and uh, they are managing uh, but schools it is like um, school the day care centers for the mentally challenged uh, uh, children in the local level and um, kudumbasri is also organizing children at local level in balasabhas and recently uh, one major step started by kudumbasri is that organizing the young women in auxiliary groups this is a recent uh, development and in the gender and empowerment uh, activities uh, there is a self a gender self learning program through the kudumbasri uh, groups neighborhood groups for that purpose kudumbasri has developed certain modules like books for um, learning gender through a self interrogation so the resource persons at uh, local self government level at the local level there is a gender resource person she is helping this uh, neighborhood groups members for understanding the basics of uh, gender and gender relations and gender discrimination and issues related to gender discrimination uh, at the local level that's the gender self learning process um, there are uh, areas which selected for this like uh, women and health and women and law something like that they have developed uh, basic reading materials like modules for self learning and um, at the local at the local level kudumbasri cds they are organizing certain um, cultural activities for women and in some areas they have this community theater called rengasri in which the women themselves can develop and um, they can also present their um, place they will get a basic training in theater from the at the district and state level they are given trainings in uh, theater and they are organizing community theater groups in the name of rengasri and in every uh, cds they are they have a gender corner they place their complaint box there for which women can reach out with their come with their um, issues even without naming or even without disclosing their um, personal details they can reach out for help and um, at the uh, local self government there is a vigilance cell called jagrata samiti which is run by the gram panchayat and uh, kudumbasri is working with the local, local jagrata samiti it is mainly uh, for preventing the violence against women at local level these are the major kudumbasri so at um, like we all know who are working with communities or working at the local level there are uh, different types of government programs or schemes introduced at national level and some of the initiatives are coming from the state government level itself and uh, most of the ma major principles which are um, greatly influenced by the the international level deliberations of women's rights and all these have contributed largely towards forming uh, the many programs for women's empowerment at national and local level and microcredit is also one such program so i i wish to uh, place the context of evolution of kudumbasri and also the uh, other related programs in kerala in the context 
as well as uh, the role of women's movements in, in the country and in Kerala for pressurizing the governments to come forward with certain um, focused programs for addressing the issues of women. And for the Kerala model development, I am not going into the details of that discourse around Kerala model development, but you all know that uh, Kerala has come for, came forward with a specific model of development in which uh, wel welfare is a major concern and um, the largest investment of the state um, health education, public distribution systems and other um, welfare welfare pensions and other welfare programs for the for the um, larger portions of the society and this approach of uh, welfare and um, giving importance to well, to people's welfare has created a distinctive model of development in kerala that is called the kerala model development that ensures better living standards for people even having a very um, very low level of uh, income. The income levels are not very high, but the standards of living and the, and the standards of well-being of the people is much better. So that, that we call the Kerala model development. And in that model of development, women as an women, the, the status of women was considered as an indicator of the success because the, the women, the general health of women and the maternal and child health of women, the mortality rates among pregnant and um, during delivery, these are all considered as the major indicators of uh, women's status in a society. In that Kerala, Kerala has the lowest maternal mortality rates and the lowest uh, child mortality rates and the higher, um, higher years of life expect, uh, expectancy among women and sex ratio is always having favorable for the women. So the all in all these indicators of general health and in literacy also, the women's share is very high the educate, in the education, including higher education statistics, women are showing with a very good um, achievement. And do, considering all these indicators of development, women are, the, the status of women is something um, something high comparable to the, the rest of the country and even it is comparable with the development countries. So that gender or the status of women is always considered as, a, as an indicator of this Kerala model development. But during the, the, the late 1980s, a large uh, section of social scientists, feminist groups, women's organizations are came forward with uh, critiquing the model of development in which women have certain specific issues. They are suffering certain specific issues related to their social participation, their work participation rates, and the number of crimes against women happening in the society. So this critique of uh, Kerala model was mainly from the women's organizations and social scientists in which they are critiquing that the physical indicators Indicators will not lead to a better um, life or a dignified life for women and safety within the homes and outside the public spaces. That was a major critique. And in that critique, two issues are highlighted mainly. One is the lack of social participation of women in, in political parties, in the major or the, the uh, very important arenas of life, like media and the decision-making bodies, the higher decision-making bodies, and also in the cultural field. The lack of women's participation was highly um, criti criti criticized during that period. And another major issue came forward was the violence against women, the rising cases of violence against women, um, which was not uh, which was not heard about before the period, during that period. And the uh, number of cases of rapes, violations, uh, sexual racket cases, sex racket cases, and also some uh, mm -hmm. issues of um, 
harassment at workplace lot of issues were came and the dowry related crimes and dowry deaths dowry related murders are also being uh, highlighted so the violence against women becoming uh, an alarming issue and related mental health problems of women came uh, like a like an indicator of the status of women having certain problems and uh, another major issue was the lower work participation rates for women the women in kerala the rates of work participation is not improving importantly in the field of uh, educated women the lesser women are going for work that's another issue highlighted by the uh, by the by the critique of the social scientists and also with the women's organizations that was an, a, a period the, from starting from the late 80s and during the 90s the kerala model was being criticized from a feminist point of view the evolution of kudumbasri is um, directly related to the interventions in the decentralization program in kerala so kudumbasri is also a result of the people's plan campaign and the related uh, initiatives done by the government of that period in uh, in introducing the gender component of decentralization mm-hmm. the decentralization in the decentralization process of kerala gender has been mm-hmm. a major um, principle the gender equality has been a major principle from the very beginning so when the people's plan campaign i hope that uh, people's plan, ca- plan campaign has been discussed by someone um, someone else uh, so i am not going into the details so the decentralization process has been started in kerala in a campaign mode which is called people's plan campaign in which people's participation was a central theme so in the, that process the women and women's issues has been brought forward and made into the uh, into one of the major uh, approaches in the, the in the entire plan campaign so that be, that that is an attempt to uh, attempt of response towards the critique of kerala model when the people's plan campaign started mm-hmm. that critique has been incorporated into that planning process and the uh, emergence of the feminist groups and women's organization they are very active during this period and they also highlighted the issues of women's participation during this new uh, program of decentralization and also um, the their criticisms towards the um, political and the cultural field of kerala where the women are always being neglected or being um, uh, women are not considered as a major contributor towards the culture and uh, other areas so in uh, during that period another major advantage of uh, the people's plan campaign is that during the uh, during the late 90s and in 90 uh, during 91 92 in that period mm-hmm. uh, there was a larger mobilization program under the total literacy campaign the total literacy campaign was a- active in kerala for a few years in the beginning of the 90s and women were the volunteers of that campaign women constituted almost the 90% of the volunteers of the total literacy campaign and um, the these women are coming from uh, an, an educated background you know this uh, basic education qualification and willing to work with the community so that group of women they are being withdrawn from the, after the total mm-hmm. literacy campaign from the uh, social field but they are ready to work with some of the social participation program so this people's plan campaign incorporated most of the women volunteers coming from the total literacy campaign and also that uh, the governmental approach or the government schemes and approaches towards uh, women's development has also been influenced by this campaign and this uh, approach in the total the total literacy campaign was also active in many of the other states in india like andhra puducherry and uh, 
uh, Bihar and many uh, places, the total literacy campaign was very active. Major uh, difference happened uh, was in this um, in Kerala was that the people's plan campaign give a continuous uh, give a continuous uh, in, uh, involvement for them. And in literacy also, the neighborhood concept has been uh, utilized for um, adult learning, for gathering the adult learners, and also having the um, having so conducting the sessions for adult learning in the neighborhood. So that that neighborhood process or the neighborhood concept and approach is there, and it has been used for the uh, people's plan campaign, and also these women volunteers. Mostly they are uh, unemployed and educated unemployed. So they are gradually uh, incorporated into the decentralization process. And actually these women are the um, force behind organizing the Kudumbasri neighborhood groups at the grassroots level. So that made that uh, process easier or process more meaningful to gather women into the neighbor, neighborhood groups. A, a set of women volunteers were available at the grassroots level already, and they are being mobilized, and they are be, they, and through them, mm -hmm. the women were being mobilized into neighborhood groups, and the spread of this uh, self-help groups is much easier. And it, it, it has uh, covered almost all the uh, local self institutions in the state. But during this people's plan campaign, the community participation has been um, encouraged and uh, gender became a major policy concern and uh, Kudumbasri was initiated by the government during that program, um, making use of these microcredit programs available and the funding available from the central government uh, and also from NABAT. And that's network has been recognized as a community wing of the local self-government that after this decentralization the local self-government institutions are being strengthened and they are being under the under the phase change so kudumbasri has institutionally built into as a community wing of lsgs in that uh, period so that um, period of intervention was very important and that approach of uh, going together with the uh, gram with the panchayat or with the panchayat raj system was very important. So the Kudumbasri has been uh, placed as part of the LSG of the local self government programs. So that that intervention was very important. And I was also trying to connect historically. Uh, Kerala has a uh, history of volunteerism and community participation, community mobilization. And during that people's uh, during that total literacy program, it is there. It was there, and also it has a, it has connected with the initiatives of the people's plan campaign and the decentralization. So that evolution of Kudumbasri was happened like it was uh, came as a mission for poverty eradication, and there was a task force um, of. Uh, the Secretary of Urban Poverty Alleviation and also the member of the State Planning Board, that Dr. Thomas Isaac, he became the Finance Minister after that, and uh, the one representative from the NABAD. And um, actually, there were some uh, experiments were going on at that time. At uh, in Alapura district, there was a um, UNICEF supported program, and at Malapuram also, there is a uh, network of uh, self-help groups and also in uh, in urban bodies there's a network of self-help groups under a, a different program they all uh, merged together and the kudumbasri is being started as a um, mission in a mission mode for the main purpose was er eradicating the absolute poverty in the state and also uh, it, Gender empowerment or women's empowerment must become one of the major in a major focus. So it is uh, Kudumbasri has started as a government initiative. It's a government initiative coming 
from the local self government department and it is registered initially as the state poverty eradication mission now it is kudumbasri state poverty eradication mission and um, which renamed later as kudumbasri and uh, that program has been spread out into uh, all the uh, gram panchayats or the all the local self government institutions later after two years it has been spread out to all the uh, stay all the uh, local self government institutions now the structure is like that there is the, uh, at the ground level there is um, a large number of neighborhood groups uh, they have weekly meetings they have thrift and credit programs they have um, other awareness programs and entrepreneurship programs and um, at the panchayat level they are being mobilized and coordinated under this uh, community development society called cds and at ward level there is another structure called the area development societies Uh, in which the representatives of the neighborhood groups of that particular ward is uh, and a representative of the local uh, panchayat or the local self government so the current structure is like that so i was talking about how this kudumbasri is being uh, located within the local self government institution so decentralization was uh, in was important for the evolution of kudumbasri because uh, that task force consisting of the local government secretary and the planning board the state planning board member dr thomas isaac and one representative from the nabard they have laid clearly that how this uh, setup that kudumbasri network is being um, built into the focus of the, the local self government so there is a dynamic relationship between the cds and the local self government institution and uh, it is like it is not subordinated to other system it is going uh, in a cordial it is supposed to be going in a cordial relationship or working together and also the kudumbasri network is considered as a Uh, a a support system for the local self government it is like a support system and it has uh, formal connections with the local self government because the the president of the local self government is part of the cds even body uh, but the lok the cds also has a system of elections and democratic selection of their leaders so like the uh, panchayat or the like the uh, local self government they have the system of uh, elections and democratic selections for their leadership like under the panchayat raj act the cds also has a system of elections they they also the leadership also uh, elected through a democratic, democratic process that is very important that relationship is very important and uh, this uh, usually the self help group networks the women self help group networks were either coordinated by an ngo or by a uh, government program they are mostly connected with that program only but in kudumbasri this network is part of the local governance structures and also the, the women who are part of this network is considered as part of the local the, the larger governance structures of the uh, local government that's an important uh, aspect of kudumbasri network so the kudumbasri the members of the kudumbasri network also have a direct relationship with the program schemes and other uh, other day to day functions of the local self government and they are part of the gram sabhas and they are also instrumental in uh in coordinating the gram sabhas and also they are part of many of the committees and um, like that they are uh, part of this management of the mnrg program in the local level so that dynamic relationship is very important and that is the strength of strength and the reason of sustainability 
for the kudumbasri network and the financing refinancing uh, loans credits grants and everything has been uh, coming through that network so that makes them yes, uh, makes them uh, really uh, active and part of this uh, governance program of the local level so that is a major uh, thing uh, when you are if you are able to visit some of the panchayats nearby near kila you can uh, feel that relationship while interacting with the uh, women in the kudumbasri network and also the members of the local panchayat you can feel that relationship that day to day relationship and that reciprocal relationship between the, the two systems the local self government and kudumbasri network the basic principles laid by that uh, initially by the task force and later on we, uh, what we are uh, observing that the community organization would have a uh, part of uh, it has a three tier structure like the nsgs ads and the cds and it is uh, part of this um, local governance program and um, it is not an appendage of the local government but instead of it is uh, it is like it is a support system for the local government and the local government also respect the uh, in uh, kudumbasri as an institution that's another thing and the information uh, regarding kudumbasri the its member membership its credit and other things are being shared between the local government and the community network and also this uh, both the systems are accountable each other major uh, features of the kudumbasri uh, programming kerala and how it is uh, somewhat different from the fg networks in other states that's a major uh, point i wanted to highlight when the pandemic started we all do remember that period of utter confusion hmm? that utter confusion and panic uh, how to deal with a lockdown situation so in kerala the kudumbasri network has came forward and established a uh, the food distribution and uh, tracing of the covid affected people and helping of covid patients and uh, and related numerous activities so that the micro management system of functioning at local level for combating the pandemic situation was basically done by the three sorts of women's network at the ground level one is the kudumbasri network and the second one is the anganwadi that anganwadi teachers and anganwadi workers they are a larger uh, group at the ground level and the asha and the asha and anganwadi is uh, everywhere in the country they were in the forefront of fighting uh, the covid pandemic and the asha has become a major program of the nation for fighting this issue of <clears throat> the pandemic before that we never give any um, any focus or any attention towards the asha workers because they are the, the lowest paid volunteers they are, they are getting the lowest payment or honorarium uh, for their work and they never considered as a major force or they never considered as important for our community uh, organize community work but during the pandemic the asha become a a major source of information coordination and support for the local people and um, at the ground level the government has um, uh, during the lockdown when the lockdown started within one week of time the, uh, the government of kerala has started uh, community kitchens for distributing food for the uh, those who cannot afford food and the migrant laborers who are who are in the state who are residing in the state and the kudumbasri has started this community kitchens within the span of one week in in almost all the uh, places of uh, the state and um, they work with the other two groups of women so i see this uh, micro management system being active with the labor of the women and there are uh, definitely there are other sorts of Uh, different types of volunteers the political parties and the government officials and the health workers they are all there they are all 
they have all done a very great work but at the ground level it has been the fuel was or the major labor was contributed by the women and the three sets of women so this community networks the community networks of women was very important and because there is a strong community network we we are we we can face that pandemic situation in a better way so that in maintaining that community networks women's labor was very important and also the the kudumbasri's contribution for because they are already uh, coordinated that they have already a coordinated network they have already the leaders who can take immediate decision and they have women who who can deliver the uh, labor and deliver the um, different types of services to the community so that was a major uh, role played by the kudumbasri network during that period and all these uh, networks this uh, either the anganwadi asha or and uh, the kudumbasri they are the, these three sets of women are, women are overlapping in different networks they are part of the, the different networks like the asha worker is part is a member of the kudumbasri network and the anganwadi worker is also a member of the kudumbasri network so that micro level governance system was very effective in delivering um, the delivering services towards uh, addressing the pandemic situation what i was uh, trying to say is that uh, this micro level uh, network of women and also the macro level policies of the government like giving subsidies for starting the community kitchen and the um, and other supports coming from the larger micro, macro level policy decisions this linkage of policies and programs at with micro and macro has made the state strategy effective and also it is effective in bridging the functions and uh, services provided by the local lscis so th that linkages are very important and that makes it a successful model and kerala has presented a successful example of building up gender friendly policy and state institutions these are all this not all the state institutions are gender friendly not at all but there are certain institutions which are which have gender friendly policies and some linkages are possible are possible so we can create an alternative governance or institutional structure of participatory democracy through this experiment so this this experiment of kudumbasri and the local self government and certain gender friendly policies at the larger uh, macro level give us a hope that we can take some we can build up some sort of structure of participatory democracy through this intervention so in, in, during this uh, period of uh, pandemic we have witnessed that interlinkages between these two uh, these two levels and another example i i want to highlight is that uh, the convergence and sustainability how we can ensure the the sustainability of the women's groups uh, through convergence this mksp program is uh, a national program which is in, all, in almost all states are having this program and in kerala they are doing a convergence of uh, three components like the mahatma gandhi national employment guarantee scheme they are giving the uh, support for the labor component that the women working in the program they are getting this uh, wages for the mnrgs and um, the other uh, supports are coming from the mksp program like the seeds and fertilizers other things are the are coming from and the technical support is coming from the fksp program and it is uh, implemented through the kudumbasri network like the the major feature of this mksp program is like it is through this joint liability groups of four, four people they, they form a joint liability group and they start cultivation mainly in the least land and this joint liability groups the jlg groups are formed by under the kudumbasri network um the major problem of the farming in initiatives uh, they faced by women in the farming initiatives in india is that they are lack of uh, land their access to land is a problem because they are not uh, they are mainly they are coming from the poor households and they have no land or they have no access to the land if there is some fa family land is there but it is uh, not accessible to them 
and they cannot do larger uh, level farming because of uh, the other constraints they are uh, they have so they are always trying for some lease land cultivation in jlg groups also their access to land is uh, become more easier because of that collectivity because kudumbasri is there and the local self government is there to help this women to get this lease land and also they can pool resources and managing things most of these women in the jlg groups are uh, is, are agriculture laborers or they have that um, that uh, knowledge of the cultivation through their agriculture work and no other uh, resources to um, uh, to put into uh, buying a land or some other um, things so they they pool all their resources together and kudumbasri is there to coordinate them and this mksp is uh, it is through that program they are um, they are doing this program so there is a successful convergence of three governmental programs like mnrgs and um, kudumbasri and the jlg and this uh, mksp program so they successfully coming together and activating the group farming the collective group farming process and it is a big uh, success in this state and during this pandemic period uh, actually that uh, engagement with the uh, agriculture was very important and they have produced a large amount of uh, agriculture products um, and that was very helpful for this community they just provide they, they distributed these things to the community kitchens and also it was uh, greatly helpful for their food security so ensuring the food security during the pandemic period so now the kudumbasri has uh, 36000 more than 36000 women are engaging this farming activities as per their um, information and also uh, there is a 73000 910 joint liability groups are working and many of the fallow land as cultivated as transformed into cultivable land because of their Uh, intervention so this is a an, this is an important example of uh, convergence for ensuring sustainability